As you know, Romania has accepted to donate one Patriot system. Yeah. We have only four. Yeah. Two of them, or uh, the, the third will be, will be operational till the end of the year, but only two of them were operational. And we accepted to donate from these four systems, uh, one to Ukraine. But then I saw a lot of European and uh, NATO countries with tens of Patriot systems. They, they didn't accept to donate any one of them to, to Ukraine. What, what, what's your take on that? It's, 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 they, they follow American instructions. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's all about the United States. You st Ukraine still but, but the United States also asked Romania to, to yeah, donate, we, donate it. One, yes, but, it, but again, it says you have to put pressure. So this is yes. As for, you know, we have, we still, we have great difference in, in the approach. Romania, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Finland. So these countries have genetic memory of what is, what is Russian occupation. And, uh, and they understand that, you know, Ukraine is one stop. So you have to, unless Putin is, is being stopped in Ukraine, he may go elsewhere. So, uh, and uh, Romania is not an exception. But the problem is you go further west and the, the, the mood is changing. Actually, by the way, you mentioned Portugal. It's, I think it's the highest anti-Putin sentiments in the country, not in Portugal. I, I, ironically, I don't know, just it's ironically. This is, uh, I was just talking about this, no, not about exactly, Portugal. But it's, ironically, Portugal. Ironically, ironically, it's 90% plus, highest in Europe. So it's the, um, but again, it, come, it brings us back to the plan. So it's, it's not that the free world is missing resources. So it's every military expert can tell you that if you're talking about conventional war, conventional war, because it's, 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 it's okay, let's set aside this is nukes now. Um, America has nukes, France has nukes. So let's separate this, this issue for a moment and look at the conventional forces. And uh, you hear, oh, yes, if Russians could actually attack and they would be in Tallinn in three days, it's absolute nonsense. Every military expert can tell you that if you have a conventional war, the eastern flank of NATO, which stretches from Romania all the way to the north to Finland, you know, Romania, Poland, uh, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, Sweden, and Finland, will destroy Russian army in one week. Uh, plus Ukraine, of course, active, physically fighting today. It's not that Russian tanks will be in, 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 in Tallinn, it's Estonians will enter St. Petersburg. So it's, it, the balance of power is just, it's, and we're not talking about Germany, America, we're talking about the forces that can be mobilized by these countries. So you don't think Putin will ever attack a NATO country? He does, no, Putin doesn't attack. You know, this is, this, it's, it's, it's straightforward. But he's just still testing water. He, there are already a few ex, uh, accidents when the, the, the missiles cross the border. He doesn't have to attack you know, everybody. But there could be some unrest in, in Estonia. Or, so Putin will not start an open war, but he'll definitely make provocations. By the way, he doesn't do anything before, he's fighting, before the war in Ukraine is over. That's why he has to achieve his goals in Ukraine. Uh, and then he can start putting pressure. Because the, any, any Putin territorial gains in Ukraine will be triumph for Putin. And, and, and then it will show American weakness. Because at the end of the day, it's everything depends, even with without American participation, America's permission to use weapons. All I said about Romania or Estonia or Poland, they have to use permission to use American weapons. So if America decides that it's, it walks away, I mean, then Europe has to, has to make a big decision. And as of today, we don't have German leadership. For instance, Germany could take a lead. But with Olaf Scholz, I doubt very much.